All right, so according to our drawing and everything, this is what uh, this side of the van looks like. We've got our driver's seat right there, and we've got our base cabinet here underneath, and that one's gonna have the refrigerator in it uh, with two, two drawers above that, and then an upper cabinet, same size there. Then the uh, bed, uh, twin size bed, will be in the middle that'll form up into a couch when not in use and two more uppers over the top of that. And then uh, before we move the shower down here to the very end of the uh, van, and there's enough room for a tall, thin cabinet in between there, so uh, he'll have a spot to put his brooms and, and also be able to stash the table that we're gonna make for, uh, that'll mount with the lagoon table arm here on uh, in front of his bed when it's in, uh, in seat mode. But, uh, We've been working on the electrical for this side, and uh, we've got down underneath here, we've got, uh, for this cabinet, we've got our uh, both 110 and 12 volt fed for it, so that the, uh, is it a 95 quart uh, Dometic fridge? Uh, yes, I believe, correct. yeah, the 95 quart Dometic refrigerator can go 110 or 12 volts, so um, he'll most likely be using 12 volt most of the time, but we wanna have the option to do either, and and then I'll be countertop up above here and uh, an outlet. So there's a duplex outlet for that. And then we have uh, puck lights on the ceiling here. And there's four of those that'll be running down the, whoops, hey, I lost my power there. So there's four puck lights up the center here and those are gonna be on a three-way switch from here right above where the end of the bed is. Uh, to on this side where there will be a cabinet running out to the end here and so the one the three-way switch will be out on the end of this cabinet and uh, then we also have uh, on the underneath the upper cabinets on this side there's going to be uh, t the LED tape lights uh, running all the way across underneath the uh, from here all the way to from the shower essentially all the way down here to the cabinetry and so we have uh, this switch over here will be for that. And those will also all be on dimmers. All right, so on this side, this is what this side's gonna look like. On the back here, um, there will be between the, 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 the wheel well and the back of the cabin of the uh, van um, is gonna be a big tall closet essentially um, for clothes uh, a little hard to see, but that's kind of what it looks like. On the bottom is going to be a cabinet for all the electrical and the solar. Um, the center will have two big doors that'll open up to create, a, have a space for uh, hanging clothes that'll have a hanging bar that'll be actually coming that slides out this way. Um, so the clothes will be, you know, flat this way instead of like this. And then a big upper cabinet above all that. And then this uh, is essentially a great big uh, uh, office cabinet um, with fake drawer at the bottom, another drawer above the wheel well there. And then uh, in the middle here is gonna have, uh, there'll be two doors that'll open and these doors are gonna be on the pivot hinges so that they will slide back in on the sides and be out of the way. And then, uh, uh, but we put in a uh, 100, 110 uh, outlet there so he can plug in a copier and some other, anything else he needs in there. And then there'll also be an LED uh, strip light underneath inside here. And so there's a switch for that. Um, and then another big upper cabinet above that. And then from here on out to the end, I created a little nook here. And uh, we've got an outlet here that'll be able to, uh, countertop will be here at 36 inches running across. So we've got an outlet for appliances and then a switch here for any, uh, uh, these another set of LED tape lights they're gonna run all the way underneath a shallow shelf that's gonna run all the way across up above the doorway here. So that's where we're at. Just about got all of our electrical finished up and uh, um, a few more wires to hook together. And then once the, we get things cab the cabinets in and get it buttoned up, we'll uh, fit, finish all that off.
All right, so I just wanted to back up a little bit and cover a few more details that uh, I kind of get carried away and get rolling along and uh, forget to talk about some of these things. Uh, anyway, so the, so the Ford Transit has the, uh, the indentations for where the windows would go, and uh, we insulated for part of those back over there. But the way we uh, filled in, it, uh, the lower side of all of this running across this way is at a 30 degree angle. So if uh, you cut a 30 degree cut on the back of your wood, uh, it gives you a nice even surface to attach to. The top one is more like 15 degrees. I learned that with a little trial and error, but uh, <laughs> we got that figured out. And that way you're able to in-frame in between a little easier than trying to cut and it gives you something to attach to and screw to when you're uh, putting things together. Thank you. 